Hi everyone, I'm glad to be here again. Uh, today I'll be showing you um, how to write in Igbo on your laptop. Okay, believe it or not, finally I've worked out how to do it myself. I've only just worked it out really. Um, I've had help from several websites like learnablenow.com and um, I've been aware that there were ways to do it on your mobile phone but I, I really wanted to use my laptop and really without sort of downloading anything so now I found out how to do it um, through the control panel just changing the language and then you get to type in Igbo and also actually see some features in Igbo and now that I've learned it I figured um, possibly there are people out there like me who like to type Igbo letters on their laptop uh, but don't know how to do it. So let's begin, um, shall we? Okay, so looking now, you see that it's in English, okay. Um, so I'll just go to settings. Okay, so that says time and language. Oh, actually, yeah, so come to the left and that says region and language. Click on it. So, you, as you can see, I've already added Igbo language on my laptop. If you hadn't, you would only just have to go there, add a language. So, and choose your language, okay. So you can see Igbo is there. I've already clicked it. That's why it's like that. So if you clicked Igbo, okay. And whichever language you clicked will then appear here. And it will ask you to set it as default. So let's try that. With, um, let's just say Africans. I'm not going to use Afrikaans oh, okay so that's Afrikaans have appeared there so I do not want Afrikaans okay so that's Igbo okay so if I click on Igbo see what happens it asks me set as default okay so that's what would happen if you click on it it will come up click on it again it will say set as default so I'm going to set it as default so it goes on top that tells me now it's going to be Igbo okay Once that's done, I will need to restart the computer to actually type in Igbo. So, looking at the screen, just look at the task bar. You can see it's already in Igbo. So, it doesn't say English here, it says Igbo. Okay? And it says um, Thursday. Today is Thursday. So, that's Thursday in Igbo and its dates. So, you can see it's already working. And if I were to type, okay um so you pressed alt gr button on the keyboard together with the letter o to get a <clears throat> and then i'm going to write o oh that's wrong that, that's a capital o oh so alt gr button and o to get o Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> so, Alt GR button, holding it down, and the Shift key to get a capital letter, and then you press O to get a capital O. To get E, you press Alt GR and the I on the keyboard to get E. Okay, because I wanted to write E Biala. Okay, so that's how you do it, really. Alt GR button, remember, and the letter that you want to put a dot below or on top as the case may be. So that's the button, Alt GR button. Using the on-screen keyboard is actually easier. 
okay and if you look you'll see that button i was talking about the alt g r button that's the button you need to actually press hold it down and press on the letter that you need to put a dot on that but as you can see on this on-screen keyboard you just click and it brings up those letters or oh, oh okay and uh, the end with the dot on top so all those email letters that you need to write properly they're just there now okay so alt gr is what you need to press and if you want to go back to the way the keyboard was if you press it again it goes back okay and of course if you want to type the normal sounds that don't need a dot under you can just type them the o and the e and the o okay right so this is how you type these email letters actually and well done if you need this already <laughs> but like i said it's my new discovery right i'm just going to write angara just to show you how to write that n sound with the dot on top okay so writing on my normal keyboard alt gr holding it down and then pressing the n gives me the n with the dot on top angara okay I hope this has been very helpful. If you want to go back to the English, typing in English, if you go down to the task bar on the right, down where it says Igbo, click on it, it will switch. For the, my mouse is not following me, don't worry. Uh, it's going its own way. Uh, if you click on Igbo, it switches it back, shows you the languages, and you can click on English to write on English again. Okay? All right. Dalo, now one ego, now to people.